I have a question. Sir? How does it how does it feel for you personally to hand out a fine to a church and to a preacher for exercising religious freedom like we're instructed in the Bible? How does that feel to you? I'm not going to respond to that question. <laughs> well, yeah, everybody is just following orders. They were doing it too when they were hailing people to the concentration camps and stuff. They were just following orders too, right? I, I, I hope so too. Tobias Thiessen, a pastor at the Church of God south of Steinbach, Manitoba, received a fine just a few days ago, despite the law just being changed to allow drive-in church services. You might remember my coverage from about a week ago, where I went to the Church of God south of Steinbach myself with my cameraman to watch what was going to happen as they defied provincial orders. The measures that are being taken affects the people's mental health. It is destroying the fabric of society. Brian Pallister said, absolutely no church services of any kind are allowed in the province of Manitoba. And he was vindictively targeting this church in particular, especially after a church denied an emergency injunction asking for churches to be allowed to have drive-in services. Now, a day after we published what we found at that church, a day after we published the fact that Manitoba justice officials and Manitoba health officials came and gave thousands of dollars in tickets, over $6,000 in tickets total were issued that day alone. Even though the RCMP didn't want to have any part of it, Brian Pallister's goons came and issued those tickets. I just want you all to know that you just served a fine upon God, okay? Think about that. A day after that happened, well, Brian Pallister reversed course. He realized that maybe the optics of denying basic charter rights to Canadian citizens might be a little bit too much for him to handle. Keep in mind, he's in the low 30s when it comes to approval ratings, the lowest in the entire country. So that's why it was so strange when more tickets were issued. See, they were retroactive. Before the order was changed, just before Brian Pallister decided to pull his boot off of the necks of these Christians, he decided to press down one more time for good measure. Which is why Tobias Thiessen was met by government officials to issue even more fines to him retroactively for something that he received a warning for just prior. How does it, how does it feel for you personally to hand out a fine to a church and to a preacher for exercising religious freedom like we're instructed in the Bible. How does that feel to you? I'm not going to respond to that question. So this all um, happened when on Tuesday the law came through or the discussion came through that the drive-in services moving forward would be allowed and that's effective on Saturday, December 12th, so tomorrow. And police called me to have that conversation to let me know that moving forward you will be okay to have drive-in services and he said then I have bad news for you and that is that the province wants to ticket you for November 29th and I asked them so you already gave me a warning for November 29th and now you're ticketing me yet and they said well the warning was there to stop you from meeting on December 6th but you still met on December 6th so now they're going to ticket you for November 29th. What, what did you do on November 29th exactly? That was the first drive-in service that we attempted to have when they blocked off our driveway. So we actually didn't really meet in the parking lot. It just seems so strange to me that they oh. have said, okay, actually, yeah, we were wrong. You can have drive-in services, but we're still going to punish you retroactively. Even though we didn't punish you before, we're going to punish you now, even though we've said that this is totally fine to do. It's very strange to me too. I mean, we did not meet in the parking lot. We we kind of met on the highway and maybe they're ticketing me because I spoke from the back of a pickup box off. You attribute this to Brian Pallister. He's he's called people who don't agree with him idiots. Um whether, you know, which I think surprised a lot of people across Canada that a premier would call his own people idiots. Uh, he also has the lowest approval ratings out of any premier in the entire country. First off, do you think that this is coming from him? And secondly, why do you think his approval ratings are so low? You know, I I think it's coming from the, well, 
anybody that's been reading the news and following what our premier here has been saying, he's been encouraging this tip line and encouraging Canadians to tattle on each other. So also making all these mandates that for drive-in services, for example, or stores being closed and essential non-essential items marked off in the store. So I I do attribute it to him and also to our health officer here, Mr. Rusin. I'm hearing from so many that are really frustrated for not being able to gather in the most special time of the year with their families. And I believe that has a lot to do with his ratings going down. And there's a lot of people that are really frustrated with that. And it, it could very easy, easily lead to mutiny, even in the government. Because most most conservative leaders from in the most conservatives in the province are not on good terms with Premier Pallister. Going forward, I guess, whether the rules changed or not, I presume you would still be holding these drive in services. Have they been successful? Absolutely. We're going to continue having our drive in service and we want to push to be able to go back indoors because <laughs> winters in Manitoba are not mild. They're harsh. And I, I'm not looking forward to being on a flatbed all winter long in the parking lot. So we're very glad that we gained this one step in the right direction with having drive-in services legal now, but we're going to keep pushing and hopefully be able to be indoors before too long. We have an army of lawyers across Canada standing up to fight fines that are issued in contempt of the Constitution, in my opinion. If you want to help me out, please go to fightthefines.com. There you can check out all of the work we're doing to help Canadians across the country. For Rebel News, I'm Kian Bexton. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in to Rebel News we need your help at fightthefines.com, but we also need your help at rebelnewsstore.com. If you go there and use the discount code KIAN10, you'll get 10% off all of the Christmas gifts that you're going to buy your family when you meet up with them this Christmas.